Hello. All right, so this is Theater History Survivor. So these are our players. We have Aristophanes, Plato, Plautus, Ben Johnson, Inigo Jones, John Racine, Moliere, Thomas Betterton, Christopher Rich, and Nell Gwynn. So in order to get everybody's full bios, please feel free to go to the at theater history underscore survivor. And this has where um, the era that they're from, any enemies that they might have, um, any plays that they've written or roles that they've done in their intended gameplay. So I'll give you a second. So you can find out. Okay, cool. So these are some feuds going in. So first we have Plato towards Aristophanes. So in his symposium, Plato said that Aristophanes would out talk or out drink anyone in the room. Uh, so he saw him as kind of loud and annoying. Also, Plato is sort of feuding with any actor because he thought that actors were all chameleons and were gonna lie to him. So we also have Ben Johnson and Inigo Jones who were arguing over court masks. So Ben Johnson thought that, you know, spectacle shouldn't detract from the text or the story, whereas Inigo Jones, who was an architect and designer, he thought that spectacle was, you know, of utmost importance. So then we have Jean Racine and Moliere. So Jean Racine was an up and coming writer and Moliere was like, good for you awesome good on you keep writing and then jean racine was like well i'm gonna pull my play from your theater company and then his mistress he pulled from moliere's company as well because she was moliere's lead actress so that didn't go over so well lastly we have thomas betterton and christopher rich thomas betterton was the head of the united company which Christopher Rich was being very controlling of. He was limiting the actor's pay, and Thomas Betterton said, no more, uh, I'm going to start an actor's revolt. So he rounded up the people and revolted it against Christopher Rich, which moved the United Company to a different theater. All right, so now we're in our first tribal council. So Inigo originally helped build the shelter, except people said he was extremely bossy and was acting like a dictator. But Ben Johnson doesn't like Inigo, but he does get along with Aristophanes and Moliere because, you know, they're both for the social change. Um, and Plautus inspired Moliere's work, so they're all in a little alliance here, so they're able to get out Inigo if they want to. Plato is against all of the actors, and he doesn't trust them, so he aligns himself with the lawyer and the architect, the lawyer being Chris. Chris wants Thomas out before the people revolt against him. So, the first vote, Aristophanes votes Inigo, Plato votes Thomas, Plautus votes Inigo, Ben Johnson votes Inigo, Inigo votes Thomas, John votes Inigo, Moliere votes Inigo, Thomas votes Inigo, Christopher Rich votes Thomas, and Nell votes Inigo. So Inigo, out. Tribal Council 2. Ben begins to start having a temper and people kind of know that he's got a history of violence, so they want to get him out. Jean wants Ben out because he wants to weed out Moliere's alliance, because he wants to win. And Nell begins siding with John because she knows that she can manipulate him, but John thinks that because she's on his side now that he's pulled her with his power of persuasion. Thomas wants Chris out and aligns himself with Plautus and friends, except Aristophanes, who is totally done with Ben's negativity. So, he voted Ben. Plato also voted Ben. Plautus voted Chris. Ben voted Chris. Jean voted Ben. Moliere voted Chris. Thomas voted Chris. Chris voted Ben. And Nell also voted Ben, meaning Ben is out. Trouble Council 3. Nell and Thomas are sick of Plato's paranoia because he's saying, all right, you guys are chameleons. We don't know if we can trust you. So Nell is able to convince John to vote him out. Moliere 
is pissed at John for stealing one of his Alliance members again, but he decides to work with him anyway because Plato's being way too paranoid and annoying. They don't tell Chris because they know that Chris will want to take control and he'll end up telling Plato. Plato and Chris remain allies and want to get Aristophanes out because Plato just is sick of Aristophanes out talking everybody. So Aristophanes votes Plato, Plato votes Aristophanes, Plautus votes Plato, Jean votes Plato, Moliere votes Plato, Thomas votes Plato, Chris votes Aristophanes, and Nell votes Plato, meaning Plato is out. Trouble four. So after Plato's voted out, Chris is so pissed off, and Thomas sees this as a chance to get him out because Chris is just bossing everyone around because he's just floundering at this point. So Jean apologizes to Chris, and they make up because Jean wants to bring him to the end because Chris is a great ally and he doesn't think that he's gonna get any votes in the end. So Nell decides to blindside Jean to take out Chris because she's totally done with Chris and she knows that she can manipulate Jean further down the road. Aristophanes and Moliere want to fight against the puppet of the government, i.e. Chris. So they're super excited to get him out. So Aristophanes is for Chris, Plautus is for Chris, John is for Thomas, Moliere is for Chris, Thomas is, or Thomas is for Chris, Chris is for Thomas, and Nell's for Chris, meaning Chris is out. Tribal five. So Nell apologizes for an angry John. He, she's got to do some cleanup duty, but you know, she's got the powers of persuasion, the power of her wit and charm. So she's able to get him to forgive her. Then John and Plautus begin arguing because, you know, John is super about neoclassical rules and he's saying to Plautus, why do you put music in your plays? That's blasphemous. And Moliere kind of decides to side with John for the same reasons. So then Nell talks to Aristophanes about how Plato Plautus is so likable. And so if he goes to the end, he could possibly win. And Aristophanes as a politician, he's like, yeah, I agree with you. That jury's gonna wanna, you know, get Plautus to win. So Plautus and Thomas, think that John has way too much power, so they want him out because, you know, they're like done with power. So Aristophanes ends up voting Plautus. Plautus votes John. John votes Plautus. Moliere votes Plautus. Thomas votes John. And Nell votes Plautus. Meaning Plautus, unfortunately, is out. That was the first, you know, big blind side. So now in Tribal Council 6, Moliere feels really guilty about voting out Plautus because he looked up to him so much. So he rounds up Thomas and Nell um, because he thinks he can get John out finally um, and finally, you know, get his revenge. And Nell decides to stick with John because she knows that they can go to the final three. And Thomas knows that he wants to stick with Nell because he's very much about let's stay, you know, with our alliance. Um, and they also have an understanding with each other from being both from the restoration and, you know, having gone through what England just went through, um, they have, you know, a, a kind of brother-sister-like relationship. As a lawyer, Jean tries to convince Aristophanes to join them, but it doesn't work because Aristophanes is like, you're being way too greedy and uh, you're pulling out a lot of the joy in this game. So Aristophanes votes John. Jean vo votes Moliere. Moliere votes John, Thomas votes Moliere, and Nell votes Moliere, meaning Moliere is out. In the last tribal council, nobody really knows what they're going to do, but John blows up at Aristophanes because he does not stop talking. He's out talking everyone in the room, and John, as a lawyer, cannot get his arguments in, so he wants him out. Nell and Aristophanes know that if Thomas get to the end, he's going to unite everyone and kind of revolt against whoever he doesn't want to win. So they want him out. Then Thomas wants John out because he's controlling and angry and kind of an ass. So now in our vote seven, we have Aristophanes votes Thomas. John votes Aristophanes. Thomas votes John. Nell votes Thomas, meaning Thomas is out. So now we have our final three. So in the final tribal arguments, Jean, he's going to use his law experience to persuade people 
He's very good at persuasion, or at least he thinks he is. And her argument now will be charming and witty. She's an actress. She's great. And in Aristophanes' argument, he's going to use his positivity and optimism and his experience working in politics. So Aristophanes says, Without my plays, theater would not be the way it is today. I've created a new form of comedy and written many plays that have inspired your works. In the game, I made alliances but was not married to them. I tried to fight against greed and injustice, and as a politician, I was able to properly assess those situations. I was always able, uh, always a joy to have around and remain positive throughout the game. Nell says, I deserve to win because in the game, I was smart with who I aligned with. Because of my life experience, I know how to bring myself up from the bottom, which is how I was able to move from alliance to alliance without everyone, without making anyone angry. I was also the only woman in a game filled with men, and I found my way to navigate the situations I was in, even if I am not the most educated person here. Lastly, we have John Racine, who says, in my lifetime, I have gone through multiple careers and made a name for myself after being born into poverty. I deserve to win because I know how to gain power from little to nothing. As a lawyer, I was able to create big moves and follow them through. I was never blindsided. I did the blindsiding. So in our final vote, Plato, he votes John. He recognizes his power of law and, you know, he's not just an actor or a theater maker. He does other things, too. He's not voting Aristophanes because, you know, they have a feud. And he's not going to vote Nell because she's a female actress. Plautus votes Aristophanes because Aristophanes has kind of influenced him in his own uh, formation of comedy. And he recognizes Aristophanes' want for social change. Ben Johnson votes for Aristophanes because he also recognizes Aristophanes' plays for social change as well. Inigo also votes Aristophanes for similar reasons. Moliere gets two votes because he's Moliere and he can't decide. So he voted Aristophanes because he respects his, um, his social change. However, he also, you know, is not necessarily voting for Ar Aristophanes with his whole heart because he doesn't follow all of those neoclassical rules. He also really liked Nell's gameplay because she was able to start from humble beginnings and find her way up and be very sneaky, however, always charming and witty. She's also a fantastic comedic actress and he recognizes that. Thomas voted Nell because they're both from the Restoration and he's always about, you know, remaining loyal to his allies. And Chris voted John because they have that camaraderie as both lawyers. So that means Aristophanes is our winner of Survivor Theater History. And then these slides are from Slides Carnival. And thank you very much for watching Theater History Survivor.